Hey, this is Rob from the FTW Podcast, and I'm bringing to you the TNA Impact Wrestling Review for December 29th, 2011. It was the last show of the year, and here's how TNA decided to end it. In the first match of the evening, we had AJ Styles and Kazarian defeating Scott Steiner and Abyss after Abyss uh, hit Steiner with the Black Hole Slam. In the second match of the evening, Zima Ion defeats Tony Nese in a contract on a pole match to advance to Genesis where he will be one of the four people competing for the X Division title. In our third match of the evening, Doug Williams defeats Gunner by DQ, but after the match, Gunner takes Williams out and injures him as he has the other as he has for the past couple weeks with other wrestlers. In the fourth match of the evening, Samoa Joe and Magnus defeat Eric Young and ODB. In the fifth match of the evening, Kurt Angle defeats RVD via DQ when Storm knocks out Angle. In the main event of the evening, Gail Kim defeats Mickey James to retain the knockouts title after interference by Madison Rain. For a more in-depth review of TNA Impact, not to mention Raw, SmackDown, and Superstars, if Garvin covers it this week, don't forget to tune in to a special live broadcast of the FTW Podcast, which you can hear on TWRnetwork.com. Uh, be sure to check out our Facebook page and our Twitter account for more information on that. Or you could also move on over to the FTWPodcast.com, where I'm sure there will be information available as well. That's it. And have a good night.